first event. Okay, what can you say? This is my breakdown pointer. You can look at strategies that help you survive, strategies that help you do better, thrive. Survive and thrive, these are my own words. They are not like formally recognized. When you say survive and thrive, examiners know what they're talking about. They don't. It's really for you to remember the points. Okay? Survival recall, in short run, AR must be higher than ABC, right? In the long run, AR must be higher than AC. So when you say survive, okay, two ways. You can survive by increasing your revenue, you can survive by lowering your cost. You can give examples of how to lower variable cost. How to lower your fixed cost. Like layoffs. This one could be downsizing. Make your premises smaller. How do you increase your revenue? You can expand into a new market, new product, new region, which basically means new market. Then to fight back, non-price competition. And price competition. Price and non price. Okay. So, price competition, you could have a price war. Okay. Non price, you could have RD, which is product uh, development, or you can have advertising, which is product promotion. Participants. Somewhere in the middle, if it's apt, you can talk about merger. Okay. So strategies, this is why I have. Then they asked you to discuss. Okay? So to discuss how they should respond would make this seven plus three. B, C, C. Okay? So when we say context, you need examples specific to telcos. So when you say R&D, for example, you have to say, oh, it comes out with better network coverage. 5G, for example. Okay? And when you say telcos cut down variable costs, could be cutting down the cost of your manpower. Okay? Expand to a new product, could be a... Uh, Maybe uh, explain to other regions. But you see, balance means you need two sides. Can anyone tell me what are the two sides? Two parts. When they ask you to discuss how they should respond, what are the two sides? If there's not enough clarity, you start thinking of two sides as how do you insert the word but? idea? Where would the word but come in? Beauty. You see, ultimately you have to talk about pros and cons. It's like discussing the responses. You have to say the pros and cons of each policy or each reaction. So if you talk about this, it's good because you spread out your risks. If one market goes down, you have another market. But there's going to be uncertainty in a new market. There's also going to be some setup cost. Pros and cons. But if I cut my cost, it makes me more competitive. Right? Because my cost is lower, I can always choose to cut the cost. 
but it may hinder future expansion plans. If I want to grow in the future, I have to hire and train up new staff. Because I just laid off some of them. Here. Non-price, the downside is higher cost. Price, downside, lower revenue. But the benefit is that in the long run, when rivals have been chased out, market share goes up. Therefore, revenue earned also goes up. Merger, you can check your notes, pros and cons, they will still have it. Oh, the pros, you get EOS. You get more revenue. Drawbacks, different culture, different IT systems. So, there's so many points. Which ones do you pick? You find the ones in the extracts. Significance, long run, short run, combination. You might want to suggest which is the most effective or most sustainable response. Then if there's a time lag, you need to complement with other measures. In the shop, right? 